Well, another day, another story about the evils of corporate behemoth Walmart. That's the subject of tonight's. In an act of unparalleled aggression, retailing giant Walmart has once again tried to undermine the fabric of our society by refusing to pay the federal minimum wage of $7 an hour. With ruthless cunning, they've decided to raise it to 9 and then $10 an hour. It's outrageous. And it's another blow to America's mom and pop businesses, which are already struggling to resist the might of this Goliath of retail. What's going to happen to mom and pop now? They'll likely have to raise their wages to compete with this death star of shopping, this abominable store man. Don't think for a minute that this act has sprung from the goodness of their heart, for they have no heart from which the goodness of an act could spring. No, this is Ruthless Business 101, out of the no-holds-barred playbook called Capitalism. Walmart believes, with some precedent, that this will improve their bottom line. And it won't stop there. The disposable income in those employees' pockets will soon be used on goods and services of all sorts, improving not only Walmart's bottom line, but likely the rest of the economy. Maybe even the mom-and-pop stores themselves. But that will be cold comfort for mom-and-pop, who, as you know, only like warm comfort. And for what? Stuff? What good has come of all this stuff anyway? It's like we're on an endless conveyor belt of production, consumption, innovation, and more production. And what has it gotten us? Besides longer lifespans, comfort, shelter, access to credit, and leisure time with our family. Besides those things, what else? Remember when mom and pop didn't need to open a store at all? They would just stand out in front of their house holding a pitchfork and looking forlorn. That's what mom and pop are supposed to be doing. That's the America we all miss. Andy, why the greed? Why can't Walmart why stop hurting? <laughs> <laughs> why can't they stop hurting people with affordable merchandise? Hey, look, I'm not anti-Walmart. In fact, I'm anti-anti-Walmart. Oh, I don't like interesting. The, I don't like the anti-Walmart people. I, uh, I still think the company, in general, treats its employees like garbage. And I think they should do better. I don't think they should. we should stand up and shout, huzzah, because a company that makes $16 billion in profits uh, raised its min its wage to 10 bucks an hour for its employees. But good for them for doing it. Uh, in this case, what they've really done is they've, they've almost, in effect, raised the minimum wage for the country mm -hmm. because all the other giant retailers are probably going to follow suit. Exactly. That's why I keep reading stories so, day after day. They say yeah. the Walmart effect. It's yeah. affecting oh, all exactly. these other stores. That, uh, you know, Target's going to yeah. raise TJ their money. TJ Maxx has and, already yes. done it. Exactly. My favorite store. <laughs> Did you get the, so, yeah. the max for the minimum? Yeah. Uh, Catherine, Walmart uh, made their fortune going into areas mm -hmm. uh, where nobody else was willing to go. That's mm -hmm. how they did it. That, so that was their design. Uh, how do we stop them from preying on average Americans this way? Well, we won't, but I think that nobody is more upset about this than Obama, probably. Because now all these stores are raising the minimum wage on their own, and he'd be under the impression that you need a government, you need the law to make them raise the wage. I think this is a great... Do you think that bothers Obama? I think it does, because I think that this proves that shaming works. A lot of people shamed Walmart, and they had to basically raise their wage because they were seen as, like, the biggest evil in the entire world. And, yeah, they didn't do it to be nice. They did it because they had to do it because of shaming. Because and they're shaming ruthless. Shaming is a good private solution to solving problems. We can continue to shame them and say, see, they're going to ruin mom and pop, and... You know, shame, 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 shame. Shame's very effective. But at least they're not a law forcing the mom and pop businesses to have to raise their wages. No, but they're going they to have to. Like, they're going to have know, this to. Is, what can they do when it's Walmart the is there? Of the thing. Oh, yeah, Walmart. They're in their shadow, right, Jimmy? I mean, do you think it was shame that led them to raise their wages? Or do you think it's a, it's a part of an evil business plan like I think? Well, I do think their hand was forced a little bit because other retailers have raised their wage. Like, that's gone on at other places. So I think this is emblematic of, you know, like a rising tide lifts all boats, even if it's a booze cruise like Walmart. Like, I like Walmart. Mm. I'm pro-Walmart. That's usually where I go to do my people watching on the road. Sad, but you're anymore. saying other people raised and now Walmart follows. Walmart, uh, as far as the big stores go, they're, they're the out in the front. Employer. Yeah, they're the, big, they're the biggest employer. And Target's behind them. I saw that Home Depot is behind them. But didn't other competitors also give a raise? There, there was Costco, like the gap and yeah, like places Co but did, didn't Costco but... give like a minimal raise? I mean, uh, no, at the end of the day, I think, you know, everybody bashes Walmart, um, which is an easy thing to do because they're on top. 
But I think the fact that they are successful is why they're getting the scrutiny that should otherwise be reserved for a guy. Are like you Target. suggesting my bashing of Walmart was uh, somehow <laughs> unwarranted? You owe the Waltons an apology. Yeah, <laughs> really I have them on the that. phone right the now. The Waltons, yes. <laughs> their, their Waltons Mountain is a pile of cash. Um, <laughs> Joanne, you don't shop at Walmart, but that's only because their policy is to card anyone who looks under 40. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I got an alcohol reference in the Walmart story. How good is that, Joanne? That was good. <laughs> I just, your monologue was way too meta for me. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm supposed to like Walmart or yes, that's what just happened to me. Uh, but I will say no to Walmart, yes to Costco, because I like being affiliated with a members only club. Oh, mm. Yeah, you like and that? They got I do. Yeah. I do. There are snacks. You get a badge, you know. I also like the, the large open space, and I like to buy things in bulk because I feel like I'll never run out. When I get low on something, I get a lot of anxiety. Uh, Andy, Costco's Democrat, Walmart, Republican. Why? Is that true? I mean, yeah, the, Costco, we, the Did Democrats are... up? I, they went with that's it. That's in my mind. Oh, Maybe I'm wrong. Okay. Oh, I'm supposed to address things mind. that are in your mind now? That's how, <laughs> that's how the show works now? According I think to I'm right. Uh, I think Democrat America likes Costco. I'm always hearing it. It's always uh, all over the internets and everything. Okay. You might be yeah. right, because as a libertarian, I kind of like both of them equally. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm whatever. more of a Target girl uh, myself. Hey! <laughs> also, Walmart is doing this because unemployment is going down. Down, so they need something to to Incentive. Yes, you know. yeah, yeah I know my which dad is, and I used to have an ice cream store he always used to say what I need is a good recession yeah the whole thing's yeah, a market at work on. okay coming up a bar ban selfies good as long as selfies is not a racial slur I'm unaware of they're always changing them but first a word from our sponsor it's the Tom Shalhoub Barbershop Starter Kit. Tom sings all the bass lines to all your favorite songs on 1,400 cassettes. Like this bum, one. Bum, 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 bum. This one's a gem. And who could forget this timeless classic? Order yours today. Bum, 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 bum.